Okay, here's a ramps board, um, which is a ramps 1.4, and this is the uh, display, all working good. And that's powered off the USB at the moment, just power supply. This uh, board is a rewrap discount for graphic smart controller. Okay, I want to show you it not working. So what I'm about to do is to um, disconnect this. Okay. I'm going to change the board. So I'll unplug this, the rewrap. Remove that. Zoom up to the thing for you. Okay, MSK Gen L version 1. And under the back there it says make a base. Okay, on these cables I've marked um, the EXP2 and EXP1 by these little lines on here just to make it easier for myself. So here you go, the plugs go into the right connections. Okay, so let me just find the cable. Right, USB cable, which I'll just plug in under here. Plug into the uh, power supply that I have. Okay, now I've powered it up. I'm not sure if you can see, but um, just in the corner over here, I've got the light indicator to say it's powered up. This is just powered by USB. Now the problem is, this is all plugged in. You can see that, but there's no actual display. But if I um, press this, you'll see some flickering screens and some weird noises. Okay, if I move the board up to here, as I turn, it, just down here where my little finger is, if I turn, the control it's getting a signal to the board but there's no display okay let's work on how to fix this now this might work on several different displays not just the um, the rewrap discount this could work on other displays um, there's no guarantees but all I can tell you is I found out how to get it to work okay so Okay, this display is completely identical. The difference being is on the back here where the um where the connections are, there's like a little housing around the connections. Now what I've done on the other one is I'll show you what I've done. Just move this out of the way. So what I did on this one here is, just one sec, I'll just I that. removed the plastic housing around the connectors. So if I offer this one up, you can see what I've done. Now in order to get them off, I use a pair of long nose pliers. And on the edges there, I gradually just I got long nose pliers into the edge there and I just carefully pulled it up a bit. So I, I slowly um, removed the plugs on here and I slowly raised that away. Careful not to damage a board. If you've got anything flat and plastic, you could probably help prise it up with that. But just take your time. Try not to damage the board or anything. So once you got to that stage, it will then look like that okay so that's what you want to help you so now what you want to do is make sure that you match the uh, the cables so this is ex exp2 and this is exp2 on here and exp1 okay so there's like a molded lug on the plastic there that determines which way around it plugs in when you've got the plastic uh, housing around the connectors and the white there is indicating which way it faces on the board. So we are going to face it the opposite way around and plug it in. So this one is EX, so EXP2, which go in there. 
this one here is exp1 I'm going to make sure it's around the other way I'm going to plug that in now when I power that back up now just bear in mind I have actually installed Marlin and I've actually installed the drivers for the actual display so that will vary too but when I plug this in and power it on now I get the full display on the other board now on this um, this board here the um, Maker Base MSK Gen L version 1 that has the exact, the exact same setup on there as my other ramps board identical setup so the same firmware loaded so now we're going here I can access whatever I want on the controls okay so if you have a display that's not working that is uh, something you can look into okay if you don't want to be pulling off the uh, plastic lugs there is something else you can do let me just disconnect the power again everything's all intact nothing's been changed now you want to turn the plugs around of course now if you turn around they won't go in because that plastic housing has a slot in the front you can see that okay so these that lug goes into that slot it will not go any other way there you go if you can see that so what we could do is if you don't mind sacrificing a little bit of damage on your ribbon cable it won't damage the connections if you're careful but if you file or get a standing knife and just carefully cut that piece off flat I'm trying to get a good focus okay so if you cut that lug off there then that's flat on both sides you can then just turn it around and stick it in the other way around and then that will fix the problem too okay so i hope this video um has helped you if it is please like and subscribe and um any questions or anything um i'm still a novice at this so that i may not know all the answers to all the questions but i'll just try and help people the best i can this will work on some of my other rewrap displays too um okay i hope that helped you thank you